Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. Let's take a look at the new fund from Edelweiss Mutual Fund. We'll call it as Edelweiss Short Duration Index Fund uh, to keep it short. The actual name of the fund is Edelweiss Crystal IBX 5050 Gilt Plus SDL Short Duration Index Fund. That's quite a mouthful. So this is basically a short duration index fund that will be investing in that index, the Crystal uh, IBX uh, 5050 Gilt Plus uh, SDL. So the, as the name of the index suggests, the, the portfolio will have 50% of gilts and 50% of state development loans. Now the fund is classified uh, as relatively high interest rate and relatively low credit risk. So uh, it, we must understand that relatively high interest rate means compared to let's say a money market fund or a liquid fund, it will have uh, much higher interest rate, but uh, compared to a long term gilt fund, it will have uh, lower interest rate risk and uh, credit quality uh, is going to be high. Um, of course, um, although it says it will invest only in gilt and state development bonds and the chances of state development bonds uh, defaulting is quite low, uh, it would be better to say the credit risk is not zero, but it's low because uh, you, you never know what happens uh, 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 with the uh, states uh, uh, you know taking on um, uh, poor economic decisions and uh, uh, fighting with the center and so on so you never know what's going to happen but state development bonds are not as credit worthy as guilt uh, funds although uh, the central government will ensure that they don't uh, default but there's always the first time for anything. We don't know uh, what can happen. So it's better to uh, say that the credit risk is low and not zero. So uh, the index will spread the uh, bonds in four buckets. So the, the these uh, gilts and state development uh, loans can be in uh, can be of one to two year duration, two to three year duration, three to four year duration, and four to five year duration. So anywhere between one to five years, the the, the bond duration can be uh, in the uh, uh, present in the portfolio. So it's not just when they say short term; it's a very uh, relative. Uh, sense it's in, in, relative to a long, typical long term guild fund it's short term that's the way you should uh, understand it now the the fund presentation says that the index has a yield to maturity of 7.34% uh, we shouldn't mistake this as going to be as going to be the return that we will get first of all uh, obviously there will be tracking errors and so on but even without that even if the tracking error is zero you will never get the return uh, that's uh, uh, presented as the yield to maturity because this is an open-ended index fund that there'll be people buying and selling there'll be um, uh, new new bonds coming in when the index changes its uh, portfolio then the all the bonds will be subject to demand and volatility uh, demand and supply factors in the market so the now will be quite volatile and you have to expect the now volatility to be Interme intermediate between that of a liquid fund and a long term guild fund so it will be volatile you should you should uh, expect that now um also you, you must uh, uh, understand that this is not a target maturity mutual fund in a target maturity mutual fund the the fund manager will just buy uh, an index which will mature at some uh, year in the future let's say five years from now seven years from now and so on so the bonds will not change unless there is a default in the bonds or there's something wrong in the bonds so as you keep holding the units of uh, of a target maturity fund the volatility will keep reducing as the uh, bonds in the portfolio approach uh, maturity whereas this is not a target maturity fund this is an open-ended index fund meaning that any time in the uh, uh, in the future, if you look at the portfolio, the the uh, portfolio will always have bonds of one to five year duration. So uh, currently, the modified duration, which is a measure of in interest rate sensitivity, is uh, two point six three years. So the modified duration will be 
around that time around that value around that value of 2 to 3 years roughly because it will invest in 1 to 5 5 year bonds whereas in a target maturity fund the modified duration will keep reducing with time uh, the interest rate sensitivity will keep reducing with time that will not happen here the interest rate sensitivity will be more or less constant um, people say that it's a very new idea well it's 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 good to have an index fund i don't i wouldn't call it a new idea because there are there were funds earlier like dsp treasury fund which had a very narrow mandate of investing only in uh, treasury bonds of about one up to one year duration so of course it was an actively managed fund but still then it's not uh, i mean uh, if your uh, investment universe is going to be that narrow then it's not going to be that big a difference between active and passive except for the um, expense ratio now uh, to appreciate the funds interest rate sensitivity if you look at the modified duration of ppfa's liquid fund today it is 0.1 years the modified duration of sbi magnum constant maturity 10 year fund it is about 6.66 years and hdfc corporate bond is about 2.5 years so this fund has a modified duration of about 2.63 years so you can expect the volatility to be similar to that of a uh, corporate bond fund it will be much more volatile than that of a liquid fund but less volatile than that, that of a long term uh, guilt fund so finally who can invest in uh, the edelweiss um, short duration index fund so if you are looking for a debt fund to be part of your long term portfolio accumulation portfolio that is then you can consider this fund provided you can handle you have some experience handling uh, uh, um, you know debt uh, uh, now nav volatility of course it will not be as volatile as a guilt fund but you should still be expecting uh, that of course if you don't want to invest in guilt funds if you don't want to be that volatile and if you don't want to take on any credit risk in uh, like in the case of corporate bond funds then you can certainly consider uh this fund for a long term portfolio that is greater than 10 years never make the mistake of expecting any fixed return from any debt fund that will only lead to uh, disappointment you must understand that the nav will be prone to demand and supply risks in the market and the returns will fluctuate and you have no control over the returns just because the yield to maturity says something doesn't mean you will uh, get that return so we do not recommend using the uh it'll be short duration index fund for short term needs for 3 years 5 years 7 years etc the nav volatility will be too much the return will also be quite uncertain for that period for greater than 10 years you can definitely uh, consider it so uh, also uh, just because the bonds will have high quality debt uh, in the portfolio doesn't mean the nav will be steady it, it, the uh, the nav will be subject to market fluctuations market demand and supply if the if there are too many bonds uh, in the portfolio then you are nav will uh, in uh, sorry excuse me uh, too many bonds in the market no no buyers then your nav will drop uh, there, or otherwise if there are too many people uh, um, uh, sell again you can also uh, you know what i mean i mean basically when there is too much demand or too much supply then it will affect the nav um just like any other product so you have to expect that in this debt fund as well it's a good product but just because the name says uh, short duration index fund it's not uh, suitable for short short term goals it's suitable only for long term goals greater than 10 years